Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Devils TV. Now this is your Manchester United versus Charlton preview for the League Cup. Now it's going to be a short preview because there's not really much too much to talk about. I strongly believe that Manchester United will progress into the next round and I feel like it's going to be a very comfortable victory for Manchester United. Now all I really know about Charlton at the moment is that they're mid-table in League One. So Really, they've kind of done re they've, well, they've done really well to actually be this far into the League Cup competition. But their time's up. Come on, we know what's going to happen. Eric Ten Hag, we're going to control the game. We're going to win by high percent possession. We're going to have so many shots on target. And what's really good about this game for United is that it's key rotation time. Obviously, you're probably going to go strong, but you can also play certain players... Uh, or, or, or you can bring on certain players off the bench that can impact the game in their own way because we're not going against a really class team. We got lucky with the draw. I'm really happy with the draw. And it's just on to tonight. And I strongly believe that Charlton don't have enough firepower. They don't have enough as a unit to actually go deep into this competition. But the League Cup... It's it's anyone's game. It's knockout football. That that's what the perfection is about knockout football. I love the the type of competition it is. That it is down to the best team on the night. So let's say for example, Eric Ten Hag decides to play his second team. So we could say, I don't know. He, he starts Jack Butland tonight. Plays Wan Bissaka, Harry Maguire, Lindelof, Malasia, or maybe even Brandon Williams. He plays a load of players that. That need that that just need game time, we could say. But he could get that wrong tonight, and Charlton win one nil. And so, like they could, their goalkeeper could have a world class performance, saving every single shot. Then they get one lucky counter attack and score and beat us one nil. That can happen. Do I think it will happen? No. It's very un unrealistic. I've gone for a four nil victory for Manchester United tonight, and I personally feel like it's going to be a comfortable victory, like I've just said. So my starting eleven, this is what I would go for because obviously we're against City on Saturday. Uh, that kickoff is is early kickoff. I think it's twelve thirty. So obviously we have what today's Tuesday. So we have exactly four days until um, the game. So when you think about it, that game's gonna be very tough against Manchester City. So what I think will happen is that Eric Ten Hag will start his not first eleven. He'll go strong because obviously I feel like he wants to win this competition. This competition is our best chance of winning silverware this year. Or this season should I say. And I feel like that he will go strong but then make his substitutions very early around I'd say probably around the 55th to the 60th minute and then start gradually bringing everyone off. That's what I think will happen in this competition tonight. There's also no VAR in uh, this competition today, so it's also blatantly just down to the referee. So apart from all that, that's just what I think. So like I said, the starting 11 that I would go for is pretty much what he's been using throughout the entire season. I'd go for David De Gea, uh, Diego Dalot, Rafael Varane, Lissandro Martinez, Luke Short left back, Casemiro as the uh, DM. Um, oh, actually, no, I completely forgot. Bruno is also suspended for this game. So, hello. Um, so, yes, that actually begs the difference. I'll probably, probably start Scott McTominay, actually, or Fred. No, I think he'll play Fred, actually. So, what? So yeah, so I feel like what will happen... Is that the midfield will be Casemiro, Fred in Eriksen's position, and Eriksen in Bruno's position, which I'm actually really excited for. Actually, now I think about it, because Eriksen for me isn't strong enough and isn't um, aggressive enough to be um, playing as a deep, um, oh, is it playing as a deep playmaker as he has been in our system currently. I've said for weeks now, as you've seen on this channel, if you know me, that. I personally believe that Ericsson should be playing in Bruno's position and Bruno should be playing in Ericsson's position. I think they should swap. So if Ericsson does play high up the field tonight in that number 10 position, I really hope he has a blinding game because it will prove my opinion right because I strongly believe in my opinion. So I am looking forward to tonight's game actually and hopefully Ericsson can get a few assists and show his class and why I actually want him at number 10. I could be wrong. He could be still playing as the as the eight as he has been and 
Fred gets plays at centre attack in midfield, or he plays, I don't know, one of the youth players, because I believe Iqbal and Minamino, I think it is, uh, were, tra were training with the first team, apparently. So, apart from that, and also the front line, yes, I'm going to go for Anthony, Martial and um, Rashford. So, the substitutions that I think will happen, as I've just mentioned, will be all, which I think will happen quite early. I feel like he'll bring on the players like Ganacho, maybe Alanga, probably Scott McTominay, uh, Harry Maguire is a definite, probably Wamba Saka as well, maybe even Malasia. So, we've got quite a few good players for the bench to bring on tonight. And yeah, apart from that, that's what I think is going to happen tonight. I feel like United will win comfortably. I feel like Charlton have impressed a lot of people by getting this far but their time's up united are on fire were seven wins in a row at the moment united fans are happy i'm excited and i'm looking forward to the game so thank you for watching today's video please remember to like subscribe comment and share let me know in the comments down below of what you think the score is going to be today and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye